None in your book now. It's funny. Isn't that cute? A growing pain learning curve. Everybody, so Aspen and I are up. We're getting dressed and ready to head into town to go get Matt. So I'm excited because he is coming home finally today. So, anyway, we're gonna get dressed and then we're off. What'd you make? It's not done. Oh. You'll know what it is. <laughs> he's making you stand here, huh? You gotta see what he's trying. Oh, look! I want to make you come to What you? What was it? You I'm it. not telling you because I'm, I'm making something up. Well, what was it? It was not in your book now. I know what it is, and you're not gonna know. Is it a man? I have to color it in. Okay, but what is it? I'm not telling you. I know it's nine things at one. Okay, thanks, What? Where is he? I know, where is he? Where's Daddy? He's in there. Go wake him up. Go wake him up. Fresh out of the shower. Hi. Ready to go home? Yeah. Where are my where are my clothes from yesterday? Because I need to go home. <laughs> well, at least I feel better. Because we We are. Daddy's gonna take us to eat. Yes. And then go in. And then go in. Yeah. Traveling dad is bringing home a gift for Aspen. <laughs> what Daddy bring you? What is that? Look what's on it. Oh, it has a train on it. <laughs> it says Purdue Boilermakers. Oh, oh can I do goodness. my thing for me? And thank right, so you. We decided to And thank you. And thank you. So we decided to come and get some lunch together, but we're a little early. They're still putting the buffet yeah. out. But she said, sit down, they'll get it all out and get it ready for us, so that's nice. How's your food, Aspen? I put some of this in. Mmm, it's good. So this is what I got, and I'm trying, I don't know where it is, right here. Coconut chicken, I've not had that No, before. I have not had this. All right, so Matt. Matt had to get Braxton a gift. We were over at Dollar General. I needed something for Aspen. And he got him this shirt. It says, best of both worlds. <laughs> you like it? It's funny. Aw, you guys, this picture is so nice. Who's drawing, coloring Mickey? I'm coloring Minnie. You got me a different color now. The picture is beautiful. Aspen, you're really learning how to color in the lines nicely. Did you teach yourself that? Yeah. I'm still not that good coloring in the lines. I think your picture's beautiful. You've learned how to outline and stuff. That's the key to coloring in the lines, outline. All right, so while we were out, Matt and I picked up Aspen some clothes because since last winter, he's gone up two, almost three sizes. So he was in a four, like between a three and a four last winter. And now this year, he's actually in a six to six, seven. So we picked him up a few things and I'm gonna show you what we got him. They're so cute. All right, so Matt and I both fell in love with these pants. They have the little cuffed bottoms on them, and then they had this embroidery. It's like a little monster face. So the pants, we got them in a size six, and then we got him two really cute shirts to go with these. All right, so we got him this shirt, and I just thought it was super cute. It's got the little explorer tag there, and I think it'll look really good together. And this shirt is that same brand, except these ones are a little bit cheaper versions, and we bought them in a bit bigger size. We bought these ones in seven in case of shrinking but won't those look cute together i just think that is absolutely adorable All right and these are like a basic pair of i don't know joggers or something but they're just in a plain black and then they've got the little blue ties so we picked him up this shirt to go with it and i think that looks so cute it's nice and comfy it's warm for this time of year 
I love this thing. I'm a super genius. And we did this one in a size seven as well. Matt and I both fell in love with this hooded sweatshirt. And it's got the charcoal colored sleeves. I think it'll look really cute with these black pants, but then check out the hood on this. Isn't that cute? I think he will rack this. So we got him a couple of really cute mix and match outfits. I think Aspen has a really good start to his fall wardrobe. So we have a few more things to pick up when Matt gets paid. We've got a couple of things. Matt picked up that shirt for Braxton. And then we did get two more spin brushes. One for Braxton, he got a Mario one. And Ireland got an Elena of Avalor one. So they're all set with the spin brushes. T said she didn't want one. She just wanted a standard toothbrush. So, um, But yeah, I think we've got a good start to this fall wardrobe we'll pick him up a few more things and most of his stuff from the summer I actually had to send to be donated so looks like he'll need another new wardrobe come spring because I still don't have hand-me-downs from Zane at that size range yet so a few things but not much left in hand-me-downs and so. T is taking a humanities class through Princeton University and uh, Tel Aviv University so she submitted her first assignment last week and she did an amazing job put a lot of thought and time into it and then she went to submit this week's assignment because they have one assignment a week that they have to get in and she went in and all of a sudden she's like no oh no mom and I'm like what is going on so when she submitted it there's like different assignments for each week that you have to put in and they each have their own individual space that they have to go in and she submitted last week's assignment on this week's spot and this week's assignment when she went to do it, she realized had last week's assignment in it. So then she went and I said, well, just go in and like take that assignment and put it where it's supposed to be, put a note in and then submit this week's assignment where it's supposed to be. So now this week's assignment, they're both showing as submitted, but this week's assignment is not showing up as a new assignment. And last week's assignment, I think is showing up as overdue, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's showing up as overdue. So I told her, I'm like, just put in a notation on both assignments because there's also like a checkoff point where they're supposed to check off everything they got done for that unit. And she did that last week and had that submitted in time. So hopefully they'll see it and we'll kind of see as it comes through what happens with it. But yeah, those are the hiccups you come across when you've never done something before and it's a learning curve. And that's what I told her. It's a learning curve, but it's still a growing pain learning curve. And it was very, it was a very stressful situation, not knowing like how to fix it at that time and knowing that the assignment was on such a deadline. So, but I think all in all, it'll come through okay for her. But yeah, that's something that she was dealing with on the homeschool front tonight. Mm -hmm.